everyone. Welcome to Lady Leoden's Learning Library. Today we're going to be making bocce ball. Bocce ball is a wonderful little outdoor game that you can play with um, a group of friends. You can also play it with your family. Um, it just requires painting some balls and letting them dry. And um, learning how to play the game. After we paint, we are going to learn how, uh, how the game works. I've got the rules right here. There are several different rules, but we're going to use my rules today. I'm going to stick that in my pocket so it doesn't blow away. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, is we've got two different size balls here. We've got the balls that we throw, which are those there, and you're going to need eight of them. You're also going to need a ball about this side for the size for the jack. So, now this is a set that I bought, um, oh, years ago, um, for the kids in the SCA. And they are slightly weighted. I think these have been outside a little bit. And they've got water in them. But um, you'll, these are the ones you throw. And this one is the one that is the marker for where you throw it. So what we're going to do is um, I've got two different colors of paint because I'm just going to paint them blue and green because those are the colors I like. And then we're going to paint the smaller one white. So we're going to start with the green. You're going to need a paintbrush, three colors of paint, one of them being white. You could use a foam brush, but I prefer a paintbrush. You need a cup of water. You're going to need two sizes of balls. So, you just go through and you just paint it however you want to. You can even paint smiley faces on it if you really want. It's a relatively easy game to learn. Bocce's been around for a long time. One of the games that was played in the Middle Ages. It's kind of a strategy game. A lot of strategy games were played in the Middle Ages. You know why? That's right. Because there were a lot of wars. Bocce actually comes to us from Italy, and it's kind of like, have you ever gone bowling? It's a little like bowling, but on the lawn, but there is another game called Skittles that's very similar. It's also like bowling, but this I want to say it's cross between bowling and horseshoes because you're not trying to knock pins down. You're trying 
to get as close as you can to the little white ball. Sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? See, there's one all done. Now, you're going to do the same thing with all of them. We'll put that one off to the side too. So now we have what our balls are going to look like. Now I'll finish those up later and we're going to learn how to play with the balls that I already have. These will get finished up and put into some lucky person's prize basket. Wouldn't that be a fun prize to go in? Okay, we'll call this. Let's see. Some greens and yellows over here, reds and blues over here. Okay, so we're divided evenly. And let's see, the first player, that's me, throws the jack. That's this. That little white ball that we made that we made earlier. Okay, so we're gonna throw that. And here's our starting circle. Purple circle on the ground. And both feet have to be on the ground when we throw this. That's going to be tough. Let's see. So now we have to, this is player number one still. Player number one will throw one ball. See how close we can get to the jack. That's called holding the point. Now, player number two, that's me again. We're gonna start in the, stand in the starting circle and we're gonna throw another ball. We're gonna throw the green ball, all right? See how close we can get to that, that jack over there. Ooh, pretty close. So, green and yellow, one point. Now, it's blue and red's turn again. Okay, good. Both feet on the ground. Let's try and knock green out of point range. Ooh, that was a bad throw. All right, it's green and yellow's turn. Gonna stand in the starting circle. Ooh, that one's really close. That's two points. All right, red and blue, are we ready? Let's try this again. Let's see how close we can get. Ooh, wow. Red and blue is not doing really good. All right. Green and yellow. Oh, 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 my goodness. All right. And red. Ooh, red can't aim. <laughs> All right, green and blue. Or green and red, green and yellow. Oh my goodness, look at this. All right, now let's see. How many do we have close to the jack? Well, let's see. Closest one is green. And yellow, followed closely by blue. So blue has one point. And green and yellow has three points because they are the closest to the jack. All right. Did you guys get that? It's a really fun game to play and it takes a while to master. It's been a while since I've played. Once you finish your, your, your bocce balls, you can take them outside and play with your family. That'd be a fun afternoon, don't you think? That's all the time we have for today. We'll 
see you next time.